More than 10,000 bird species exist throughout the world. Many of these species, some common ones, are in decline. One in eight of all bird species is considered globally threatened. Over 1,000 birds depend on habitats within the United States. Human activities are altering the environment and are contributing to negative impacts on these populations. Through programs like the Important Bird Areas, or IBA program, Audubon and partners are fighting to minimize and reverse these effects. Important Bird Areas conservation utilizes a multi-pronged approach using science, advocacy, and outreach. IBAs are scientifically identified by state-level committees using state-defined criteria. They are then screened through a more rigorous process to be deemed continental and global. These sites then serve as the targets for advocacy and outreach campaigns, as well as restoration and other direct conservation activities. Important bird areas are places crucial for threatened or endangered birds, birds with small ranges, birds concentrated in one habitat type, or large groups of birds. They can be in remote areas, or they can be in urban landscapes. They can be public, or they can encompass private lands. Identified for their significance to birds, their value extends beyond and are key to the health of other wildlife and people. The Important Bird Areas program is a global initiative started by BirdLife International in the late 1980s. Today, more than 12,000 sites have been identified on land and at sea worldwide. In the United States, the program is coordinated nationally through Audubon, with state and local efforts implemented by Audubon state offices, chapters, and partner organizations. Over 2,600 sites across 48 states have been identified as IBAs, encompassing 370 million acres. Almost a quarter of them are global. The power of the program is in its grassroots involvement and partnerships. Local IBA adoption groups are engaged in stewardship at over 300 sites. Additional conservation activities and efforts are underway through state and national efforts, further strengthening our impact. Thorn Creek Audubon Society in Illinois, in coordination with Audubon Chicago Region and other partners, are restoring a wet prairie from an agricultural hayfield. Volunteers have been engaged in monitoring birds, fighting invasive species, planting seeds, and just appreciating this place and the beauty it holds, a unique treasure in the midst of a highly developed area. In New Jersey, through efforts of the stewardship team at New Jersey Audubon Society, private landowners learn about conservation incentive programs. Volunteers remove invasive non-native vines from a maritime forest restoration site. Volunteers participate in activities to improve the beach for both horseshoe crabs and shorebirds. And over 800 students get involved with Atlantic white cedar restoration with state officials and residents engaged in the project as well. In California, Audubon California and Eastern Sierra Audubon have teamed up to create a conservation action plan for Owens Lake, a lake bed formerly drained by an aqueduct to Los Angeles.
With water back, tens of thousands of birds have come back. This action plan has now expanded to a large planning effort involving landowners, agencies, tribes, business, and environmental groups. At San Pablo Wetlands, important for clapper rail and wintering and migrating shorebirds, Audubon California partnered with Napa Solana Audubon and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to improve tidal circulation, resulting in a more naturally functioning system with increased bird use and the elimination of mosquitoes, a model for other parts of the bay. In Maryland, efforts have been successful in curbing sprawl in one county on the eastern shore. IBA status of a forest block within the proposed area of development and its significance to species such as prothonotary and worm-eating warbler played a crucial role in the planning board's decision. In addition, Audubon has partnered with Defenders of Wildlife and Lower Shore Land Trust to develop plans to protect tidal marshes that are at risk of being destroyed by sea level rise. Many endangered bird species like the salt marsh sparrow and clapper rail depend on these marshes. Audubon Sagebrush Initiative, encompassing 158 important bird areas throughout Wyoming, Colorado, Montana, and Utah, is focused on protecting a disappearing ecosystem. Impacts of oil and gas development have resulted in serious habitat loss. This effort is now engaging industry, government, ranchers, and the conservation community in finding balanced solutions protecting this landscape while also promoting the renewable energy development that is essential. At the national level, efforts have focused on tools for centralized data management and sharing, resources to guide the IBA identification and conservation process, analyses to better understand the IBA network and opportunities for conservation, the integration of IBAs into tools used by broader communities, and the linkages across our US IBA network and beyond, working in coordination with Audubon's International Alliances program. These are just a sampling of the many great conservation stories across our network. Many more can be told. We invite you to help us create our next conservation success story. Take action. Help us keep a watchful eye on these important bird areas. By focusing attention on them and linking our efforts, we can make a difference in protecting these birds throughout their life cycle. We can prevent these birds from disappearing. Join our team and make a difference for birds, biodiversity, and people.